I set out on an epic quest to gain the same amount of vertical feet as Mount Everest, the highest peak in the entire world. I set out on the trails to find myself, to find that vert, and to conquer the mountain of life. In all honesty though, I was just lonely and bored and wanted something to do this week. I grew up running cross country and track, and those were the sports that I focused on for high school, college, and the beginning of my professional career. But earlier this year, I signed with Normal, which is an emerging trail brand. So now, I'm shifting my focus towards mountain and trail running. And anyone that's in the trail running world knows that vert is king. Vert is the vertical feat you gain while you're running. The route in the world with the absolute most vert is Mount Everest. Everest stands at 29,028.87 feet, which is a lot. But Everest is also really expensive to climb, and there are actually times when there are lines to go up Everest, which is ridiculous. So I decided to do the next best thing climb the same amount of feet as Everest. Now, this is called Everesting, but to officially Everest, you have to do it in one day, and I have all of my other training that I have to do, so I'm going to try to do this in one week. If you think I should try to do it in one day, then like the video. If it gets to 2.8 thousand likes, I will attempt it in one day, even though it's probably a very bad idea. Major vert today. I'm gonna start by going up the VK route, which is like, kind of the steepest hike in the area and then just see where it goes after that because I haven't been past just the chairlift up there and I know that there's a trail so we gotta go check it out see what it's about and yeah see how much bird that is <sighs> there's just literally nothing like being on top of a mountain having worked really hard to get there and just being up here all alone and just be in here. I mean, look at this. <laughs> literally, look at it. <laughs> I'm literally about to cry. Like, <sighs> oh, almost three hours in, and I am feeling it. Oh. I somehow ended up at a very different. Um, trailhead than I started at, so I'm walking it in. Done. Today is a cross training day, so I'm just gonna go hike. So yeah, just uh, gonna go tromp around in the woods for a while. to this little spot with Spence the other day but the trail keeps going so I want to see where it goes and I'm just gonna go until it ends I made it to the top of that trail but busy at the top and I wanted my own space so I'm doing an add-on a scramble a little scramby up these rocks I just took my first fall since being here and this is what I tripped on. Yeah, let me zoom in because it's hard to see. Yeah, that rock. That one. Hand for size? How? How is that what I tripped on? Oh, embarrassing. At this point, I realized I was not on the trail I wanted to be on, but I just kept following signs back to Chamonix. How did I end up here? How? And I survived to tell the tale. Made it back. Didn't go as planned, but it was fun and I saw cows. So, yeah. The next day I had a track workout, so I just did my warm up and my drills and then some three minute reps on the track. And later that day, I also did a lift and cross-trained for 65 minutes. So a hard day, but not much vert. Throughout this challenge, it's been very important for me to focus on my hydration. And Element is a tasty electrolyte beverage that makes it super easy for me to do that. Whether I'm out running on the trails or biking, getting in a tough workout on the hills or the track, 
or getting in a lift. I know that I can count on Element to give me a scientifically based ratio of electrolytes that will optimize my hydration and performance. And besides the scientific backing of Element, I just love drinking it because it tastes so good. And taste is really important for making sure that you're consistently hydrating. And right now, Element is offering a free sample pack of all eight flavors to my viewers with any order. To get this deal, go to drinkelement.com slash alley or go to the link in my description. Yesterday, I didn't really get any vert. It was a lot of training, a lot of fatigue, but no vert at all. So yeah, I'm just gonna go easy today, but try to get in some, you know, cause somebody's got to get to the top of Everest and it's not gonna happen on its own, so. Since I was desperate for vert, I decided to go up the VK route, which is definitely the steepest hike. And it's also really fun because there's some technical bits at the top with ladders and stuff like that. It started raining for a while and it was mildly unsafe. The forecast said no rain until 8 p.m. and it was 11 a.m. when it started raining. So, so, shock. I'm out on another hike. It rained for like six hours. <laughs> So, I'm in a long sleeve, very prepared for all weather. I ran 13 miles this morning, but it was a pretty much flat run, so I'm gonna go hike now. Uh, it's just gonna be an easy little shakeout hike, literally just jaunt. At this point in the challenge, I was definitely starting to feel the cumulative effect of just trying to get vert every single day. Beautiful day. And even though the hikes were beautiful, I was feeling it. I didn't get to any sort of peak and it's kind of unsatisfying, but I'm tired and I just need to go back. I mean, I know that this just sounds like an excuse, but like I am training hard and as much as I want to Everest this week, I also want to prioritize my training and recovery. I don't want to overdo it, so I'm just going to call it here and go back down. I just ran 30 minutes straight uphill. Whew, brutal. This day was absolutely brutal. I just did not want to work out today, which almost never happens to me. So it was just a weird feeling to have. And I actually contemplated quitting the challenge, but I figured it was more mental fatigue than anything. And the run actually made me feel so much better, both mentally and physically. So I was glad that I went out there. It is my last day of attempting to gain everlasting superiority over Mount Everest. And I'm very happy because this mountain, it was a lot to take on and I'm tired and very excited to not do vert tomorrow. But for today, I have quite a bit more to get. I think I need about 5,000 feet. So it's gonna be a big day. I'm starting it off with a hill workout. Just finished the warm up. about to start my repeats. I'm going up this hill. It doesn't look steep, but trust me, the boy is, he's spicy. attempt. I am very excited that I had a goal to chase after this week and a goal that I should be able to achieve today after I go on one last hike. Started raining almost immediately. <laughs> Good. I was going up the VK route but it gets a little dangerous when it's raining so I turned off early and I'm just gonna like go add on on these trails over here. And yeah, that's my whole TED talk. Ooh. 
As I took my final strides towards my mission to gain everlasting superiority over Everest, I felt an overwhelming feeling of triumph wash over my body as I conquered the mountain of life. I had done it. Everest had nothing on me. Okay, it is a couple days later and I just wanted to reflect on this experience, talk about how it went, how I felt. Overall, it was challenging, but also fun. I enjoyed seeing new trails and having something to chase after all week. It was definitely way more vert than I've ever done by 7,000 feet in a week. So a big jump, but it also just made me realize that I do want to attempt to do this in one activity at some point in my life. I have a lot of respect for how difficult that will be, but I'm always trying to seek out challenges in my life. And I know that that's something I want to do at some point. <laughs> I don't know when that will be, we'll have to see, but I am happy to say that I have Everested in seven days. Obviously that's Everesting with an asterisk, but I hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you did, please subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment saying Everest forever. Uh, yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and that's all for now, folks.